<laughs> yeah. Remember, cash only. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Jewelry and the up front. Over here. Gotcha. Either here or with me. Okay. Sir, you have to pay for the purses or jewelry here.
Yes, I
Okay, I went to another church sale and I wanted to share with y'all the jewelry that I purchased there. I had a whole gallon size bag of stuff. And so I just uh, opened a few of them and I will open the other ones as we go. But I really didn't spend a lot of money and I got a lot of stuff. So one of the first things I got was this hematite necklace with a cross pendant on it. Really pretty, very cold to the touch. And I picked up these. I saw some just like this that are selling for $200. So I believe this is a uh, cinnabar. You look at the beads, you can see the design on them. And then the closure, it's like a little barrel class. But they're really pretty. Um, and then I got these here. At first, I thought they were copper. Like, I was just grabbing stuff so fast, you guys. That's kind of like how I do. I just grab everything I think I might want and then try to go back through it uh, whenever I'm through. But that didn't happen this way at this sale because I wanted to go look at everything else that was at the sale, but they made you pay for the jewelry first. So I didn't really have time to stop and sort through everything. So I just went ahead and paid for it all. Uh, besides, it went to a good cause anyway. And I feel like I found some good treasures. So, little hoop earrings. I haven't really looked at those up close too much. Now, this little Roadrunner brooch here. I do have the other eye uh, in this bag right here. Uh, let's see. And it goes with it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and repair that. And then this is the back of that one. I love the Roadrunner brooches. And then this one is actually a Chico's bracelet. So I love the colors on this, the earthy, earth tone colors. Very pretty. All right, and then over here on a little spinner, oh, I'm trying to hide my ugly bruise, y'all. <laughs> I was scratching the other day, and I tell you what, it just does not take any kind of anything at all and I just bruise so easily. So look at this brooch. This was definitely my favorite find. Let me put it on a little plate so you can see it better. Isn't it gorgeous? The blues and the greens. Let me show you the back up close. Did not see any maker's marks on this one. Definitely a vintage one though. And a couple of bracelets here. Just simple little stretchy beaded, but I love the multicolor strands. And then this one right here. This one, you guys, is super duper old. I can tell by looking at the clasp on the back how long it is, and it's also a C clasp there on the back. And I've never seen one that has this kind of start right there like that. And this, I think this is like a beetle. And it's either some kind of turquoise or I'm not sure. I haven't tested it in any way with anything just yet. 
Looks like we are uh, missing a couple stones. Maybe not. No, I think those holes are supposed to be like there like that. It's not missing any. So I have to do some more research on this one, but wow, so pretty. Love that one. All right. <clears throat> and then I just got this bag of Mardi Gras stuff. There's some brooches in there, some bracelets, and I thought this would be fun to uh, sell probably like around uh, Mardi Gras time. So I'll probably put that in a Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras bag for the future to sell. And let's see, this one has had a uh, tag on it that says, good for Halloween costume. I don't know about that, but maybe I guess like some kind of a caveman or something, but I don't know, they're made of shells. So something beachy perhaps, puka shells, but it's really unique. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's bone or nothing. I think it's shell. So that one. And let's see. This one are the this okay, so this one is just like a plain little stretchy one. And this one though is they're glass beads. And they look like they've been uh painted. Really pretty stretchy bracelet. Love the colors on that one. And let's see what else. Get these bags together. Okay, I finally got the rest of the stuff out for you guys to show you. First thing I want to show you is this bracelet. I thought it hid, it hid my uh, bruise a little bit better. But it's a really neat piece. I like that. And then I got a couple of these little red rhinestone stretchy bracelets. This pendant here, I'm not sure what it is. I saw gold and I just grabbed it, <laughs> but I don't think it's anything. It's like some kind of equilibrium balance judgment thing. I'm not sure. And this uh, cloisonne pendant here, and it came on this string. And then I got some purple bling. This bracelet is unique because it's like a clamper, but it looks like a bangle, but it opens up. Really pretty, love that purple. Look at this set. So this is a necklace and a bracelet set, and I think they, were, they maybe had a dollar on this. I mean, it was just super cheap, but these are glass purple, I meant pink beads, little glass beads and these the silver ones are sterling so and then the same thing again for the necklace sterling silver with the pink glass I mean they could be something else I haven't tested it yet with my um how do you say presidium I have it I don't even know what it's called but yes uh, I probably need to test that and see make sure those are just glass and then this necklace here, which I believe is probably Howlite, just because the clasp isn't marked sterling or anything, but it's still a really nice piece. Uh, looks like turquoise anyway. Very pretty. Let's see. Oh, and uh, this little set here with this crown or tiara, silver tone with some AB rhinestones. And it also came with the little matching earrings. That, and then this one, this is definitely one of my favorites. This Chico's necklace. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I just love it. And then it also came with these matching earrings as well. So, put that down there. Very pretty. This one here is a J. Crew bracelet. And it is marked 
You can barely see it, but it is marked right there. And then these gorgeous earrings. Love those. Uh, let's talk about this stuff on here. So these are just vintage little screw back. They are not marked. Some green and blue little rhinestones on those little flowers. These are just gorgeous. These are clip. And there is no maker's mark on these, surprisingly, because they're so pretty. Love those pinks. And then this one here is marked Christian Dior. So I will definitely be selling that one online. And this one, I haven't tested it yet, but it sure does look like amber. So and there's the back of that one. And this one, I was surprised, this one's not marked. And this one's really pretty big. Let's see, and then this cuff here, not so, well, it does have a mark. Let me see what it says. Oh, that's hard to make out. I can't, I think it's just some kind of a symbol, but probably a maker's mark. But that's a really nice cuff bracelet, silver tone. Here are some little white faceted cabochon earrings clip. These are marked West Germany. And I wanted to ask y'all about this necklace here. So I first thought maybe it's a uh, Labradorite. Did I say Labradorite? That's not what I meant. I meant to say Lapis. <laughs> lapis is what I thought it was at first, but, and the beads are definitely cold to the touch, but I am not sure. Let me know what you guys think. really a nice necklace and then another one of the uh, faux turquoise it almost looks like it has different stones than here at the very bottom it definitely does that's crazy and then this one right here this little uh, enamel butterfly bookmark I think it had 10 cents on it made in Taiwan really cute and I think that's all but I feel like I got a whole lot of stuff and I got overall I can't remember how much I made paid because I'm making this video like two weeks later but I've been wanting to open up this jewelry and look at it a little bit closer but I also knew I was going to make a video so I could show you guys what I got so I cannot remember exactly what my total was but yeah, that sale was a lot of fun and a lot better than that first church sale I went to that y'all saw probably about three weeks ago. So um, I did get some other stuff. Um, it wasn't nothing really to write home about. I got some uh, Halloween decorations and what else did I get? Not I, You probably saw me pick up some things in the video, but that's all I can remember I got off the top of the head, my head. But I was super excited about the jewelry and I wanted to share it with y'all. I just don't want this video to be too long so i hope that y'all enjoyed it be sure and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was i think without a doubt from this whole entire haul my favorite pieces are the chico's necklace with the matching earrings uh the cinnabar necklace this one and these two brooches this vintage one right here and then this one Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And for those of you that don't know, this is Party Bear. <laughs> he is my um, my whatnot mascot. <laughs> so yeah, go and um, check out the link down below in the description box and come and join me over on Whatnot. I do uh, live shows every week, every day, except for Thursdays. And um, almost all the time, it's always jewelry. I think I have a plus size show scheduled for the very end of this month. I might try that out and see how that goes, but mostly I sell jewelry and I would love to see you guys over there. So let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments down below and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.